Hey guys, welcome back. Again, we are back with another amazing video, and in this video, we are going to discuss about what is Chat GPT and how we can use it for hunting some good bugs. So, before going further in this video, I want you to please subscribe this channel, like this video, and don't forget to provide your valuable comments in the comment section because your comments help me to remain motivated and keep on making these such videos for you. So, let's go. So first of all, you have to come to this URL uh, chat.openai.com. Forget about the slash chat. And once you come here, it will tell you to please register and then only can use it. So let me show it into incognito mode. So let's go for chat GPT. Just search chat GPT. It will come. Then you have to go and try. Here it will ask you to log in. So provide your login mechanism. Either by Google you can log in and then you can go and work on the chat GPT. So let's go to the chat GPT directly now. So this screen will pop up in front of you and then you can ask anything whichever you want to ask to chat GPT. So the first question is what is chat GPT? So chat GPT is an artificial intelligent tool that use its machine learning algorithms to provide you the answer whatever the question you ask to it. So let's move forward and understand how we can use it for bug bounty hunting. Let's guys and get some SQL injection payload from it. So we can say, give me, give SQL injection payload. So what the issue with this uh, open AI as of now, that uh, sometimes it stops you for asking something malicious and it will give you that I cannot access browser. Although it cannot access browser, it will give you error like uh, it is malicious and then I cannot perform this request as of now. But you can just uh, try again and change the string that you are asking and then it will give you some data. So for example, here it gives the example of this SQL injection payload. Okay, so it's a very basic example. We can ask for more. Give 10 SQL injection payloads. Okay, start printing. So it's giving all of the payload that with which we can perform SQL injection. Here we can see these are all direct SQL injection payload. Let's check some blind SQL injection payload. Let me copy it. So we can ask him give us 10 blind SQL injection payloads. So let's wait and see. So it start giving here 10 potential blind SQL injection payload. So you can also check like that. Okay, so the answer is finished. But if you don't like the answer, you can just go and try again. These are the things regarding the SQL injection. If you don't understand anything regarding SQL injection, you can directly go and search here about it. So let's move forward for XSS. So let me refresh it, reset the thread. So let's go and ask what is XSS. What is XSS? So here it gives the definition of XSS. Now let's go and check what are the 10 payloads for XSS. Give 10 payloads for XSS. At present, it cannot go and search the browser as of now and cannot access the internet. And uh, that's why it's going to generate this payload on the basis of the machine learning algorithm. So if like that, you know, instead of 10 payloads for XSS, if you give like top 10 payloads. Oh, it gives the top 10 payloads. <laughs> so depending upon the scenario, it can give you the payloads depending upon its mode and algorithm. <laughs> so let's go and check. Uh, consider that if we want to put a payload, like we understand that uh, this payload, consider that this payload 
will work over there but sanitization is stopping this payload from getting executed so what we will say we will say like give us give encoded accesses payload we will say like that okay you can even see when just we pass the accesses payload it's going to search about what is this and it gave me the definition of this so let's go and uh, query this give encoded accesses payload So what I feel that is going to give us an access payload which will be encoded and it will be mostly URL encoded. Okay, it gives us a base64 encoded payload and if we want to go with another encoding or if we want to go with another payload we can just go and hit that try again. That's all we have to do. Here you can see it gives the encoded accesses payload here and this is the payload that he encoded to this and it is URL encoded. So let's go and find something else. So consider if you want to hunt something onto a web application and you went into the web application and you identify a login form over there right, where you have to put username and password. So we can ask this guy like what are the vulnerabilities that we can identify at a login page vulnerability at login page so let's wait and see what answer is going to serve us a vulnerability at the login page can refer to a weakness in the design implementation okay this much is the only give okay let's change the query vulnerabilities to find at login page so at present i just want to tell you i'm not editing this video and just not removing the things which are not going to provide me a good or a suffice answer to me uh, i'm just firing all of the command and keep on recording it because i want to let you know that the chat gpt won't going to help you directly you have to keep on manipulating your strings and the queries so let's go So it gave us the number of the vulnerabilities that we can identify at the login page and few might not be good for us like lack of secure authentication mechanism such as two-factor authentication we cannot go and uh, submit a vulnerability on the basis of that hey you guys don't have two-factor authentication that's fine but here we can understand that we if we are able to bypass the two-factor authentication we can submit that vulnerability second thing is weak password policy such as allowing short and comma common password uh, which is one of the weakness of a web application but how we can enhance it and how we can increase the vulnerability or we can not the vulnerability we can say that how we can increase the impact of that vulnerability we how we can increase the impact of that vulnerability i have already described in one of the video of account takeover so let's go and like lack of password strength indicator that's fine that's fine and ability to handle the brute force attack this one we can report like if uh, no rate limit in the section of no rate limit we can report this vulnerability lack of http and dls people just put this type of vulnerability out of scope so let's find what type of vulnerability we can look into the form bugs to look in login form not login in form let's put form only and in the starting let's put security so what we can search for accesses we can search for a login form in educate input validation allowing the ingestion test such as sql ingestion we can identify in a login form lack of proper server side validation and input sanitization leading to potential security flow and vulnerabilities it's going to be as like sensitive information can also be revealed to the uh, login form okay lack of proper error handling and reporting this means like if we are putting some wrong string and then the code break and error start reflecting on the uh, client side with this thing we can also report 
and because if you are not able to escalate that uh, invulnerability to higher level it will at least going to give you p5 or p4 so lack of secure data transmission is like with they don't have https over there they only have http this thing we can also report for login mechanism we can report that if they don't have https over there we can report that so guys whatever the things that you find you can go and ask about it so you can also check for like a security bug in chatbot security bug in chat like whenever you some application gives you the functionality of chatting with the support there you can also go and check what are the bugs in the chat system you can also check for bug in uh, take the example of pdf generator pdf generator generator so some application provide you the functionality of generating a pdf and few more things like uploading uh, bugs in uploading files you can also check and you can also understand like how to exploit let's check i never check this how to exploit file upload functionality so let's check this is going to be a what we can say testing stuff i hope you don't answer like this is malicious In the exploit file vulnerability and attacker use various techniques such as injecting malicious code into the upload file and then tricking the user into executing it such as discussing it and blah 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 uh, leveraging vulnerabilities in the file upload process itself such as by uploading a file with double extension code i understand that uh, using the file upload functionality to upload large amount of data okay cool so let me explain you these things because yes, we have already identified that so let me explain you the top three that the two you can read and understand otherwise the video will become too big so injecting malicious code what i mean they mean by malicious code is just like dot svg extension of the image can help you execute accesses payload over there you can search about like how we can execute accesses with the dot svg images okay first thing is that second thing is that like uh, some extensions are not allowed like dot php is not allowed over the internet instead there is a functionality of only uploading the image it's going to accept the jpg jpeg svg those type of extension then you can bypass those either by intercepting the request or just by doing such stuff like dot jpg dot uh, php because some application only check for dot and then three character or four character and if they match the string yeah it's fine let's this file bypass this all the restriction and went into to the server directly this is the second thing third thing is that like file upload functionality some of the file are too large to upload that they can perform the denial of service attack but most of the companies don't accept this denial of service attack but some companies accept them so if you find the functionality where you can upload the maximum number of size like consider take a file of 100 gb and then upload it that's fine it's going to destroy the server but don't do that it's for educational purpose try to upload as a small file 2 gb or 5 gb and if you find that the server is not responding properly then you will be able to identify a dos attack over there so let's move forward so guys the next thing we are going to do is to check the vulnerability among few codes like sometimes you can get a code of a target that they share the code and then you can go and do the secure testing over the code that which is known as SAST so let's understand that let's first of all get some vulnerable code and then I will show you how we can identify that mm, SQL injection vulnerable code so we simply go and search for some SQL injection vulnerable code. If they will provide us, it will be good. So guys, let's take this code. I just copied from the internet. It's a vulnerable code. And consider that we don't know what type of vulnerability can exist in this type of code. And we go and take it to the chat GPT and just we paste it here and uh, ask vulnerability in this code let's see the code contains sql injection vulnerability and the user input from that item dot name so it's going to explain you what the vulnerability exists and how we can exploit it not exactly how we can exploit it but also telling that you know which parameter containing the sql injection vulnerability cool so guys i think this was enough for the first video otherwise the video will get too long and this time i'm not going to edit this video i want you to understand that the chat gpt is not going to answer this query every time 
and you also have to face some issue with the chat gpt and it's nothing like which is going to be a handy tool in the start but later on when you keep on exploring stuff on it you will understand how chat gpt is going to answer your queries so in the next video we are going to share you a few tweets and how you can create your own nuclear template also you can how you can create your own burp suit plugin and multiple things that you can perform with the help of chat gpt in this video we are going to finish it here and i want you to please subscribe this channel like this video and don't forget to share this video among your friends Bye-bye.